Hey everyone, it's me again, back to the Marathon 25 foot Bertram project. This is me trying to work out the drainage for the shower area. I was going to have a, like a box um, under the, the shower floor, but I'm just going to make the whole shower floor the blocks and you'll be able to open the lid in front of the toilet where your feet will be and Arnold, my little son, will be able to have like a back and play with his toys and it'll be like a little bath and the bilge and the float will be at the end making the toilet a fun place uh, this is me glassing the bottoms of the the floor it's so much harder when you're putting all these in, inspection hatches in or hatches for live like spear guns and fish and whatnot under the floor it will make it easier in the end and there's no wasted space in this boat I used epoxy resin to go with the epoxy fillets although they're still tacky Anyone that's doing a floor and is thinking about putting pockets in it should watch this first because <laughs> it might spook them out of doing it. It'll be worth it in the end, you only have to do it once. This is me taking the bow rail off. A little bit of a milestone. I should have done it after. Before, I should have done it before I pulled the, the wrecked bracing under the floor and I'm running out of space so I put it on my roof. So I'll be looking forward to the day I have to go back onto the roof to pick it up. Hopefully the neighbours don't whinge. Anyway, spending more time chiseling away the bottom of the anchor compartment the deck. Pretty much all of the wooden supports that span the deck need to get pulled out and I need to do more work there because it's all delaminated. I love that word, not. <laughs> um, doing the centre floor, the, the bit that I've already glued in in the previous video in this one the videos must still be muddled up anyway, no fun grinding port side rear floor area it is getting so hot getting into that seat is disgusting now, <laughs> it smells putrid. Anyone that's doing a floor and wants to do panels, do it this way. Use aluminium strips or stainless or whatever you want, just not fiberglass or wood because wood rots and fiberglass is way too long, it's itchy. I'll just countersink, uh, uh, so I'll tap thread into the into the aluminium strips and then I'll just squash it on with Sikaplex and screw it in with stainless bolts that I use, um, that stuff that you, you can use stainless, it's yellow goo that you isolates the stainless steel from the the aluminium because it'll 
get electrolysis otherwise you know, the eventually. But it's got it's ten mil thick, so I'll be the the good thing about doing it with the aluminium strips is if it does let go at some stage I'll be able to put some new screws in it and re glue it. This is me putting LEDs under the floor while it's easy. things add up to a big project. <laughs> Lots of fiberglassing when you don't do it the aluminium strip way, so please take note, beware. I would have done everything with aluminium if I knew how much of a pain in the ass it was going to be to do it like this and how, how effective the aluminium strips were. resin for this as well. At least with epoxy resin you've got more time to play with it, but it is a pain in the ass to um, wet out compared to using polyester or vinyl ester resin. I've, worked, I've done very, lots of very late nights working on the boat. And I've had to been going to work as well, so it's been pretty miserable.
I'm not wearing a jacket thing there and I'm just getting itchy because it's either get itchy and a better temperature or not as itchy and get really really hot and then <laughs> yeah it, it sucks doing it both ways <laughs> I think it is better doing it with the suit though, but I just don't have as much stamina when I've got the suit on. I wish the hazmat suit worked. So this is me gluing all the all the um, bee birth cabinet area in, and then I use vinyl ester to glue it in. It takes ages for the vinyl ester paste to cure I found. Has anyone else found that? Even with polyester, if you make a glue with the polyester, for some reason it takes a long time. I know it goes off because I've, I've done tests. So I've, I've put a little bit of the mixture on the side of the bin or something and, and I see. This is where you see I feel beat. <laughs> I've noticed that the bloody Patch lids aren't, aren't real level. They're, they're, they're buckled. So you can see them stressed out now. Yeah. But I think that's a good thing to do. It'll be okay. There are a few other ways to straighten it out. You know my best thing? Not coming in my little house. You're not playing with my toys. You're not getting my beer.